Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm excited that today is day one of the 24 Tags of Christmas. Each year I've been making 24 tags using six different videos, six different stamp sets and some dies and fun things. And this year is no different and I'll give you more details on the giveaway at the end of the video. This first one is going to use some shaker pouches from MFT. Recently I did a video with these thin ones and then there's also these high profile ones. For a tag on a gift, the high profile tag ones are excellent. You can also use them for candies and things, but I'm not even gonna use them as a shaker. I'm gonna use them as a diorama. Do you remember doing dioramas when you were a kid? Maybe, I don't even know if they do them anymore. But what you need is a ring to go around the outside and then a circle to go in the back of it. And I'll let you figure out your measurements. The biggest thing for this one, if you get the pouches that I will link in the description down below, the center circle has to be two inches because that's the width of it. And then your outside circle can be whatever size you want, whatever dies you have, whatever punches you have in order to create that second circle. The background circle needs to be the same size as the outer circle of the ring. And then I'm gonna do some kind of simplistic sort of coloring on this panel here. And you'll see why, because there's a few things that we're gonna to do to it to create a layered diorama. And if you have not ever done a diorama, they are fun. We used to do them in school and put all different kinds of scenes together. And you, that's one of the places where I really started learning about foreground and background and stuff, because you had to put them in some sort of order to create some depth in your little display that you were making. We did them for science class. I think I did some for books that I was reading. I had to create dioramas to tell the story of the book, do a scene from a book, etc. Okay, back to the project. Now I've got my image colored like my little dog Vienna, and I drew a little, a little kind of snow hill behind the dog. And then I'm using the other piece to create another snowy hill. It doesn't matter what kind of curve, but the cool thing about this is you don't have to fussy cut or die cut the whole thing. You just have to do that top portion since the rest is a hillside behind. And the idea is to create a little layered hill in the foreground in front of the little dog. And these are stamps from MFT, by the way. They always do a cute dog set every year for Christmas. And this one is no different. So then you need to figure out how to do the background on this diorama card. So I'm gonna hold it in place. You could tape it if you wished. I kind of wished I had done that by the time I had gotten this far. But you wanna create little shapes on the sides on that ring that match your snowy hillside. And if you do like three or four snowy hillsides in depth, which you certainly can, then you'll need to do that many of those little layers. The background in this is going to be just a green forest. And that means the whole top section can just be solid green. And you'll see how that is gonna make a difference when we get to doing the background of the circular panel. But I had used a kind of more of a bluish color in addition to the, the blue green color. So I kind of had to adjust my colors so that it was gonna work with the colors that were in the snowy hillside behind the dog. The background, this is really cool, just flood it with color. And it only needs to be that top section so I don't have to color the whole thing. I can just color part of it and then throw my little doggy in there. And I'm gonna need to glue the dog in there because it's gonna fit together kind of like that except the ring is gonna be on top. But you can see how the scene carries across all those pieces. The snow then you can add at whatever rate you want. The other ones that I've made in this little series of four tags have different amounts of snow so you can look at them when we get to the pictures at the end and see which amount of snow, do you like a lot of snow or little snow? So now I've got some dimensional adhesive on it. And since I've placed it while the ring was in there, it's in the middle. So then I can throw the pouch on top and then use some Be Creative tape, this super sticky tape. I like it when I'm doing things that I want to stay together. And then just 
place it over top of this thing. I, I don't have any adhesive on the pouch at all. It's just going to be the adhesive from these, the ring sticking to the thing on the back is going to hold it together. And then I can just poke a hole in the top and call it done. Now you can make a shaker out of this. You can put shaker stuff in there too, but I decided to just leave it as a diorama tag instead of being a shaker tag. And I thought it still came out absolutely adorable. Just tied some red ribbon on the top and held it on there with a little piece of twine. And these are some of the other dogs that are in the stamp set. Dog number five from this stamp set did not make it into a tag because he did not fit in the little circle. So he made it on a card instead. You can see that card, which you will not want to miss. It's adorable over on my blog. And the reason I'm sending you over there is because when I do YouTube giveaways, I have lots of things people never claim because they never come back to see if they won. But on my blog, I can email you if you leave a comment there. So I'm going to be picking from blog comments. They're going to be 24 winners as always. So you want to go over to my blog and leave a comment. The link is in the doobly-doo down below, as well as the link to the MFT products and all the fun stuff. And you can also pin things from the blog. You know you're going to want to do that anyway. So I will meet you over on the blog so that you can qualify to win and then go out and make something beautiful. I will see you again tomorrow with video number two. Bye-bye.